Another concept that is helpful in understanding or interpreting a value of a standard deviation is Chebyshev's theorem. The empirical rule applies only to data sets. Chebyshev's theorem applies to any data set. Unfortunately, results from Chebyshev's theorem are only approximate. Because the results are lower limits, at least, Chebyshev's theorem has limited usefulness. Now, Chebyshev's theorem is the proportion of any set of data lying within k standard deviations of the mean is always at least 1 minus 1 over k squared, where k is any positive number greater than 1. So for k is equal to 2 and k is equal to 3, we would get the following statements. So if we said 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, that means that we would get at least 3 fourths or 70%, 75% of all values that lie within two standard deviations of the mean. Now, if we let k is equal to 3, that would be 1 minus 1 over 3 squared, which then would give us 8 ninths. So at least 8 ninths or 89% of all values would lie within three standard deviations of the mean. So for example 7 in Chebyshev's theorem, IQ scores have a mean of 100, and a standard deviation of 15. What can we conclude from Chebyshev's theorem? Well, applying Chebyshev's theorem with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15, we can reach the following conclusion. So we can say the following, that at least 3 fourths or 75 percent of IQ scores are within two standard deviations of the mean between 70 and 130. So remember the mean is 100, okay, and we know that two standard deviations of the mean were 70 and 130. So that means that at least 3, 4, or 75 percent according to Chebyshev's theorem. Now at least 8 ninths or 89 percent would be three standard deviations of the mean. So remember three standard deviations of the mean are 55 and 145.